What's up guys? It's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together and today I wanted to chat with you about how to get the modern farmhouse look. I'm Marissa. I'm a borderline crazy dog mom, a landlord, a DIYer, an interior design obsessed pop culture enthusiast, a real estate entrepreneur, and I'm simultaneously managing a long distance relationship while working full time. I'm the kind of woman who doesn't have the patience to get through this recording. So let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. Guys, a few weeks ago, I launched a video about the five things never to buy at home goods, and it caused quite the uproar. It was a popular video, um, I think because people either loved it or hated it. And they loved it because they agreed with me that sort of that farmhouse look of word art and Ray Dunn, it was a little cliche and overdone and definitely was like a little like kitschy version of how to get the farmhouse look in your house. And um, the people who didn't like it sort of thought that I was acting snobbish or people don't necessarily want to elevate their home or that kind of thing. So um, what I decided to do today was to explain to you a couple different options of how you can get the modern farmhouse look or even a little bit more of a traditional farmhouse look in your house if that's what you're going for without hitting that like cliche area of word art and like over the top kitsch. Um, there's definitely a lot of elements that you can bring into your home to get the aesthetic you're going for without having to get too far down um, the rabbit hole of this, you know, kitsch decor. I won't say too much. I don't want to offend. I'm not here to offend anybody. So the first way that you can get the modern farmhouse aesthetic in your home is through the color palette that you choose. Now, over the last like few years, we have absolutely seen a lot of new construction, modern farmhouse or remodeled modern farmhouses with the white exterior, black trim, black windows, black roof, those kinds of things. And then now we actually have this newer modern farmhouse, which actually has a black exterior. Now that's if you're a little bit more modern and I absolutely freaking love it. If I was looking at a new construction house, I think I would personally go with a black exterior farmhouse. But so this black and white aesthetic is going to automatically give you that modern farmhouse look if that's what you're going for. Now, when you get inside of the house, you can continue with the black and white aesthetic and then you can add in neutral, natural elements such as jute rugs, which are those tans, baskets, that kind of thing that is really going to give you um, more of the farmhouse to the modern, if that makes sense. Next way that you can get the modern farmhouse look, uh, if that's what you're going for, is through the materials that you use inside of your home. Now, Please forgive me, this is a long list of materials that can get a farmhouse look. So I don't wanna be boring and just kind of read it to you. So I'm gonna to try to add a little, you know, color to this story, but it is seriously just a list of materials <laughs> that are gonna give you that aesthetic. So the first thing is Joanna Gaines' favorite thing in the whole world, and if you watch HGTV, you know exactly what I'm talking about, is shiplap. If you do the shiplap paneling on your walls, it's going to trigger anyone who enters your home to know that you're doing that modern farmhouse vibe. Now, another wall treatment that I wanna talk about is board and batten. Now guys, I'm gonna insert images of everything that I'm talking about so that you don't have to sort of go and Google schmoogle what I'm talking about as I'm talking about it, but board and batten is another wall treatment that you can do both in the interior or the exterior of your home, and you're almost gonna see it on all the new construction, modern farmhouse exteriors, but you can also do it interior, and it's going to definitely give the vibe that you are going for a farmhouse look. Now, as we talk about walls, I wanna talk about kitchen and bathroom walls, and you can use subway tile to also get that modern farmhouse look. Now, subway tile is an amazing product because it is inexpensive, and very versatile. You can use it across many different um, styles on the interior, but if you're going for a farmhouse look, you can do 
um, the white plain subway tile. I wouldn't even do the bevel. I would honestly just do flat with a darker grout, like a dark gray or a black grout. And you can do that in your bathroom or in your kitchen. And it's going to give you that modern farmhouse aesthetic. Now, as we talk about materials to use on the walls, um, if you're going more traditional farmhouse, I would suggest a brick fireplace that's sort of over grouted and it's going to give sort of this rustic vibe um, that is very farmhouse. But if you're more on the modern edge of modern farmhouse, you can do um, actually concrete fireplaces. And if you have one of those large two story great rooms with a large, you know, two story concrete fireplace and maybe some shiplap on the walls, it's going to give you a very clean farmhouse look, which is very 2020. Now, also some other mixed materials that you can use um, to give the farmhouse look. Let's talk about lighting, lighting as a whole category. There's a couple signature items here that I want to talk about. There is the farmhouse lights, which were traditionally used on the exterior of a home, but we're actually seeing them being used um, on the interiors now, and I'll insert uh, visuals here so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but these are kind of cool because you can use them both inside and out. I would use them in a matte black if you want to get that sort of classic 2020 modern um, farmhouse look. Um, and then also something that I love is when people do the sconces over uh, built-ins. And so you can do those both in the matte black or you could do it in a gold and you're still going to get that modern farmhouse look. Now, the third part about lighting to mention here is as you're doing the semi-flush mount or ceiling lights throughout your home, doing um, both semi-flush and uh, chandeliers in black are gonna give that modern farmhouse look if that's what you're going for. Now, just two more materials I wanna talk about if you're building a modern farmhouse, which is one, beams, which we talked about in the McGee & Co video. They also use beams, but these are very popular in modern farmhouses as well. And then the second thing is the barn doors. Now, personally, I think barn doors can go sort of two ways. Like there's a little bit of a, a little kitsch. I mean, I've seen some modern farm doors that are barn doors that I like, but generally they're not my favorite, but it will absolutely give you that farmhouse look without having to put that silly word art on your walls, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, so those are all the materials that I wanted to mention. All right, if you are saying, Marissa, my house is already built. I don't have the ability to go in and add shiplap and backsplashes and all those kind of things. I just want accents, which is why I've gone towards the kitsch. Uh, I have some answers for you about home decor accents that you can add to your home to get the modern farmhouse look without having to you know, buy a new construction house or completely gut the house that you live in already. So a couple of these sort of classic things that we see in the modern farmhouse look is one, um, wooden cutting boards that you leave out on your countertops in your kitchen. You can stack a couple of them. You can even get antique looking wood elements. You could even do a wood tray or a wood pedestal tray in your kitchen. And it's gonna add that sort of rustic farmhouse look to either your modern or existing kitchen. Uh, now, another signature of this look that isn't personally my style, but it definitely gives a vibe if this is what you're going for, is large clocks on the wall. And you guys will know which ones I'm talking about. There's particular clocks that look more farmhouse than others, but if you use large wall clocks on your walls, it's definitely gonna add to that look that you're going for. Definitely lots of baskets in natural materials um, is gonna add to that farmhouse look as well. And then jute rugs, which I mentioned earlier, it's another natural texture fiber to bring into your home and it's gonna add that sort of rustic element in there. Now in terms of wall decor, what are you gonna do? It's very cool and modern to do either um, cow or horse art. You can find prints or photography everywhere. I will link some down below if that's what you're looking for. But if you're if you're looking at farm animals, it might even be kind of cute to add, you know, some cool photography of pigs because everybody else has uh, cows and horses. But 
adding sort of that modern black and white photography of a, you know, classic farm animals to your house is definitely going to give you that look as well. And I think it's super cute. So now you have all your materials, you have your exterior, you have all your accents, but how are you gonna get that farmhouse look when it comes to your furniture? Well, there are a couple things that I wanna mention here. First of all, they're large farm, farmhouse dining tables. Um, I will insert some images here, but they're classic and they are being sold everywhere right now, you guys. You can get them anywhere from world market to target even ikea and then you can buy them at higher end places you can buy them at ballard design seriously they sell these dining tables everywhere and having that large farmhouse table with either like wing back or sorry not wing back chairs the um the wishbone chairs oh that is such a look or you could do a bench at the dining table another wood bench that's going to absolutely give you sort of this like communal farmhouse vibe that you're looking for in a dining room with a black iron uh, light fixture above it. It's absolutely going to give you that look that you're going for. Um, now I do also want to talk about like if you're doing an office, for example, there's these raw wood desks. World Market makes one that I absolutely love and I will link it down below. I'll also insert an image here. Gorgeous desk. It's just this sort of rustic wood finish that's absolutely going to give you that vibe. Now in your bedroom, let's say you want to do a modern farmhouse bedroom, those wrought iron beds um, absolutely give you this look. It's sort of a classic look. Uh, it's been around forever, these types of bed frames, and it definitely gives you the vibe of farmhouse. So I would suggest doing that. And not to mention, they're incredibly inexpensive. I'll link some down below if you're interested in those. Um, and then also if you, I mean, your girl likes to DIY. You guys know I love redoing furniture, but if you guys are doing any sorts of projects and you want that modern farmhouse look, use chalk paint. It's sort of this matte finish, comes in every color from white to gray to black to even you know blues and greens and everything, but this like matte chalky finish is gonna give you that farmhouse sort of rustic uh, vibe when you're redoing any furniture. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is Buffalo print. You guys probably know Buffalo print. It's that large scale. Um, I mean, it comes in every color, but for modern farmhouse, you want to do a black and white Buffalo print. You could do a wing back chair. You could do, you know, a throw blanket, pillows, small accents. Adding those elements around your house is absolutely going to give you that look that you're going for. Okay guys, thank you so much for sticking around and listening to me talk about all the modern farmhouse elements that you can add to your home to get the aesthetic you're going for without getting that sort of kitschy, over the top look of farmhouse that's a little bit too cliche. If you guys have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. This is where I get so many of the ideas for my videos. So if you have questions, of course, leave them there as well. Now, follow me on Instagram. My handle is at barely keeping it together. And I've had so many conversations with you guys on there. And I love chatting with you on Instagram as well. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's either here or here. I never know which side it's on, but subscribe. Give your girl some love. All right. I will chat with you later. Bye.